Hi guys, this is a redirect to my reaction to One Piece episodes 605, 606, 607 and 608. Yes, I'm finally back with reactions. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me. Um, so before I start talking about these episodes, which were really good, I really like these episodes, I really like this arc. Um, before I get on to like, talking about them, um, I want to give a shout out big shout out a huge shout out to hotel dusk 215 oh my goodness i'm not gonna like get into like the detail of like how much he gave but he gave a huge huge tip and i'm just i'm amazed like anyone i'm so like shocked that anyone would give such an amount but thank you so much hotel dusk 215 for your extreme generosity um it means so much to me that you really like my channel and that you really support it i also want to give a shout out to um martin jaramillo matthew P producer michael kelly um code breaker one two nine eight um yeah i think those are the most recent patrons yeah okay um I wanna, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and for being new to patreon so i hope you enjoy the reactions on patreon so at the moment on patreon i'm doing trial reactions to anime um in march i reacted to blue exorcist and overlord in april i reacted to cowboy bebop and food wars so those reactions are still available and this month i'll be reacting to samurai champloo and bleach and next month i'll be reacting to fate zero and tokyo ghoul um yeah uh yeah definitely so um yeah i just want to thank you all so much for your support and for being patient with the reactions um i will be uploading the redirects to blue exorcist and overlord either tomorrow or very soon so look forward to that on youtube i mean um anyway um let's get on to these episodes oh my god so much is going on in these episodes like it was just it's crazy like so many like intense moments and fight scenes um so firstly um unfortunately um smokers g5 marines army pretty much dead um well some of them most of them are dead um because Virgo killed them like it was just it was so it was quite heartbreaking seeing Tashigi like she really wanted to save the her fellow g5 marine members but she couldn't they really prioritized her to be alive because basically the poisonous gas leaked through it broke through the laboratory because caesar is an extremely traitorous evil man he's such a cruel man um that he made sure that the gas went through the laboratory so they had to run away from the poisonous gas and the poisonous and the poisonous gas um freezes people it turns them into like this white statue thing um and unfortunately um some of the g5 marines didn't make out alive and tashigi like she was so heartbroken she really wanted to save all of them um it was a duty as the leader one of the leaders um it was smoker I did tell her to like take care of them but like you know like they they really wanted to prioritize her being alive um and you know those G5 Marines understood that Tashigi's Tashigi's more important. Um, uh, it's really bad saying it that way, but I mean that's how they thought of it. Um, so they were very loyal to Tashigi and extremely loyal to Tash Tashigi and Smoker, obviously. Um, damn, Virgo is an absolute savage. When I saw Doffy, oh my days. Oh, wow, like the conflict between Law and Doffy, um, Doflamingo, I mean, <laughs> I'm just calling him Doffy, um, damn man, I am so scared for Law right now, because Doflamingo is not one to mess with, that guy is sadistic as fuck, it was like, send a picture of Law's dead body, and I'm like, bitch, you better not, you, you better not fuck my, fuck with my boy, you know, um, because you know, Law is my favourite character, I don't want anything bad happening to him, and then seeing that girl, Baby Five, I've actually seen pictures of her online, she is so cool looking, but 
damn, like, she, she and Law were actually, like, a couple. Um, okay. <laughs> um, wow. Um, so Law and Doffy, they have a lot of history. And so apparently Doffy actually, like, you know, raised Law. So Law was an orphan then. Because I, I hardly, I don't think they're, like, actually, like, father and son or anything. Nothing like that, but like raised him um but law like law has something against him like he went inside the sad room and he wasn't supposed to go inside the sad room because um he wants to open something he wants to open a box the only reason he became a shishibukai was because he wanted to get into the sad room um so it's really important like it looked like some sort of huge weapon that could shake up the new world so I'm assuming he wants to like use that to threaten Doflamingo um, and other people from the New World. So that is a very, um, yeah, that's very intense. Um, wow, damn man, Law has guts, yo. Like he's up against Doflamingo, Virgo, Caesar. Wow, uh, I really hope Luffy and them like help Law. I don't want Law to be like alone in this battle, you know. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that thing. And Luffy was like running towards Caesar's, um, like where Caesar was, and Smoker was running with him because Smoker he really wanted to fight against Virgo, but he couldn't because Virgo was too busy killing his own his the g5 marine members someplace else there's a lot going on so with luffy and caesar that damn that battle like oh got me shook man like caesar was able to like remove the oxygen from luffy and so luffy had to like keep a distance from him and it, it's just like how can you get close to someone that's gonna like make it very hard for you to breathe and then i got shocked that he was able to get into gear second gear third um, whilst like trying to like breathe in the, his last breath and like wow that that is true willpower right there he did manage to like knock out Caesar a few times but then that freaking girl Monet she got involved and so then he started fighting Monet and Monet is like she has um, the ability from the snow snow fruit so she has snow based ability abilities um which are pretty cool, um, but yeah, uh, so that's that, um, Zoro, Nami, Usopp and Brooke, they are riding on Brownbeard and they were like running away from the poisonous gas, um, trying to escape, they're trying to save the children <clears throat> and then finally escape, um, the laboratory at the island, um, Chopper, like, he met Mocha and he, he actually managed to save Mocha from the withdrawal symptoms from the drug. Um, so Mocha is now sane, but the other children are very, they're very much suffering from the withdrawal symptoms. So he needs to give the antidote to all the other children now. Um, and we also saw that examination room. So... Are they like recruiting even more children now, or is that just like a checkup, like a regular checkup on the children or something? Like, that is creepy. Um, we actually found out at the end that Momonosuke, who is Kinnaman's Kinnaman's son, is actually in the laboratory. Is actually there. Um, so uh, surely there's going to be a reunion between Kinnaman and his son soon. Um. Sanji and Virgo, damn, Sanji is, like, he did pretty well, initially at least, like, against Virgo, like, he managed to kick him, and kick him towards the wall, um, but unfortunately, like, when he started using his metal power, um, Sanji struggled, and he knew that this guy was kind of out of his league, um, so... He even said, like, he, he's it's a good thing that he actually, like, escaped from that, like, you know, like, don't push yourself if someone's, if you know that someone's gonna, like, brutally injure you, um, because, like, if you kick metal, if you kick something that's extremely hard, then surely your bone is gonna break, that's probably what Sanji was 
thinking at the time, um, I guess. Um, Versace is like really strong though, like no doubt about that. Um, yeah, so we haven't seen Zoro fight yet, so he's like the only one that hasn't done anything so far. Um, but I'm sure like later on he definitely will, like get some sort of fight scene surely um yeah so a lot is going on so chopper he still needs to save the children um by giving the antidote to everyone and law oh man law is in a huge trouble i just i hope he i hope they don't kill him obviously they won't yeah, because I don't, I've never heard of a law death scene, so I don't think he's going to actually get killed. But I'm just, I'm still worried though. I'm still worried for my boy Law. Um, yeah. So yeah, a lot is going on. So I'm just going to leave it there. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just it's getting more and more intense. So we might get another Luffy versus Caesar scene because you know he's like the main. Well, it's. It was kind of confusing because Joe Flamingo is really like the top dog in like the villain scale, really. Um, but Caesar is like the main villain for this arc. But then again, it's Joe Flamingo who's like above Caesar's level, so it's kind of like both. Anyway, um, what do you think of these episodes? Let me know and stay tuned for more.